chapter 22. The ancestors say hi. His memory as a child kept playing. He sensed a presence, a person, a spirit of a man. He saw the image of a man with long black hair, streaked with silver. He was aged, but strong. It was his grandfather. She was seeing the spirit of her father shining through his own eyes. He understood this without speaking the words. She looked into him for long moments and then closed her eyes, pressing her head against his. He closed his eyes. That's when he saw all of them. Inside he saw his thoughts. He saw men and women with long black hair, just like his mother's, dancing around a brilliant fire on a hill under a dark sky with a crescent moon floating near the ridge line. One of them, the man, the leader of the dancers, stopped dancing and looked back at him. The man nodded, like he was greeting him from across the room. His eyes sprung open in surprise. Mama, I saw dancers around the fire. I know, I did too, she calmly replied as she opened her eyes. Who are they? They are our ancestors. Why are they here? They wanted to meet you. You are their great-grandson. One of them saw me. I know, that was your grandfather, my father. She smiled. She ran her fingers across his forehead, moving his dark hair from his eyes. Can everyone see their ancestors? Only some can. Why did I see them? The great mystery was saying hello. She smiled. The great mystery was his mother's ways, mother's people's way of saying, creator of everything, the divine mother, the great what spirit. Later, he termed this awareness as the great arranger, as in the one who arranges meetings between friends. All this passed through his thoughts as Bran stood looking at Stella on this fine, sunny morning. She had that effect on him. He felt like he was, she was the gatekeeper into a beautiful world. In fact, every time he looked into Stella's eyes, he felt like the great arranger was greeting him again and again and again. Her eyes were like those blue flames floating over the blanket of white snow. Her crystal eyes, like her voice, and her entire way of moving caused a warm fire to burn inside his chest. Somehow, she had become a part of his thoughts, so much so that he found it hard to believe that they had met only one cycle of the moon ago.